Alright guys, welcome back to another one. In today's video, I want to talk about a Hidden Kingdom Hearts 3 setting that, honestly, I haven't seen anyone talk about, I haven't seen anyone use, and I don't even know if it's really a widely known thing for the game. If you go into the config menu and scroll down to command selection, by default, this is set to active. You can actually change it to slow. By doing this, it means that for any of the command menu selections you go into, for the likes of items, links, or magic, time will completely slow down. You're still able to move the camera while this is happening, however, you aren't able to guard or dodge. As we know in active, you're able to go into any of the command menu submenus and still move around, still dodge, still guard, while using the D-pad to select your option. So while slow has a disadvantage of not being able to move or guard, this does give you a brief moment to sort of think about the situation in hand with the slowdown effect. I think this is a really unique setting and I'm not even too sure if many people even know this exists for the game. This is something completely new to Kingdom Hearts 3. Whereas for Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 that also used the command menu system, this setting never existed. I had only discovered this about two years ago, quite some time after the release of Kingdom Hearts 3, because the game doesn't actually tell you that this is even a thing. I wanted to double check this, and so I ran back through Kingdom Hearts 3, the tutorial segment, and through all of the tutorials the game provides, there is no mention of this option, at all. Even in the actual tutorial game help section of the camp menu, again, there's no mention of command selection. Now, I'm speculating that this was implemented into the game to assist newcomers or people who aren't exactly too familiar with real-time action RPGs. The slowdown effect can give you a moment to think about exactly what item or magic or link to use in the situation, but it can also be used to study exactly what attack the enemy is going to use next and how you should deal with that, either dodging out of the way or guarding. This can actually be a pretty useful way of studying enemy attack patterns. That being said though, I would never recommend any newcomers to turn this setting on to help them adjust to the combat system of Kingdom Hearts. It's best for anyone that is using KH3 as their first Kingdom Hearts game to get used to the active command selection. That is the intended way for a Kingdom Hearts game to be played, everything happening in real time, selecting your items, selecting your magic. Of course, most of the time in regards to magic, you're going to be using the shortcut menu, so there's never really much reason to scroll down into the actual magic sub-menu of the command menu. But for what it's worth, I think this is just a really cool and unique hidden setting for the game. It provides some really cool visual effects. I mean, the slowdown effect here can be accessed any time the sub-menus of the command menu can be accessed, and that's basically at any point in combat. Using this partway through a combo can provide for some really cool cinematic moments. And because the combat system is playing out at about 380 miles per hour for a Kingdom Hearts game, it's actually kind of unique to just sort of slow down time and to really take in everything that's happening with all of the cool visual and special effects that Square Enix implement into each attack, especially during a boss fight. I managed to capture a ton of hilarious moments of Sora just being thrown around by the data organization.
if we're not including the easy codes, then this is Kingdom Hearts 3's only major accessibility option via the config menu. Accessibility options have become a pretty big and quite common thing within gaming, which is great. It allows more accessibility for gamers of all kinds to be able to jump in and experience said game. It's definitely not the same, but this is kind of reminiscent and reminds me of the classic mode that's within Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth. Enabling this, the game will automatically control Cloud or any of the party members move and attack and block, while the player will issue ATB commands. This sort of brings the remake of Final Fantasy VII closer to that of uh, a traditional turn-based experience, even though it's very much still not a turn-based experience. For gamers who are looking to play FF7 without it being so action-focused, I have no doubts that for Kingdom Hearts 4, more accessibility options sort of like this will be implemented into the game, as since 2019, the release of Kingdom Hearts 3, accessibility options in video games are, again, just becoming a lot more common. But yeah, I thought I'd bring this to your attention because I just don't know if people actually know this exists and honestly can sort of provide for a slightly different feeling Kingdom Hearts 3 playthrough. Let me know down below, is this something you use? Is this something you knew about? I'm really curious about the slow command selection for the game, so be sure to let me know in the comment section. However guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with everything going on here. Check out my other garbage social media platforms. Big thank you to my wonderful patrons. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and we'll talk real soon.